Centre for Alternative Technology started in 1972. Our founder, Gerard Morgan Granville, was really concerned how society was using technology. So Gerard wanted to found a living community that would live with the emerging alternative technologies to find out which ones really worked. We're looking at the biggest transformation of society we've seen since the Second World War. We have to prepare for that. We have to understand the technologies and have the numbers to make sure we have to make the right decisions when the crunch time comes. What you see around you now is the evolution of that process today, where we have a display circuit that tries to explore the issues, climate change, habitat and so forth, but most importantly to explore the solutions that people can take up at all tiers of society, from government solutions down to what people can do in their own homes. So what, what we're doing now is we're uh, continuing to expand the visitor circuit because we still want to convince vast numbers of the general public that there are solutions to the challenges, but we're actually expanding the academic side, the residential courses side. We're teaching plumbers to become solar water heating installers, electricians to install photovoltaics. CAT is kind of where people who really believe in things uh, are, they're kind of what's happening. I don't want to go to university where it's all in theory, I want it to be something that's really where people are living out what they do in practice, which CAT is. At LAMAS we're going to be using many of the skills and the techniques that have been developed here at CAT. CAT is continuing to lead the way in educating for sustainable architecture and sustainable technologies. Nobody can keep up with the, the rising prices of property, but we think that um, affordable housing should also be ecological housing, and ecological housing shouldn't be the preserve of the middle classes. And the two are compatible, so what we're looking to do is develop a vision for how we can prove that affordable housing is ecological housing.